Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about PowerPoint photo albums. This is a unique feature in PowerPoint that allows you to insert pictures into your PowerPoint slides and actually create a slideshow that is a photo album. And there are a lot of different features and functionalities that you can employ in this photo album. So let's go ahead and get started. Within my PowerPoint slide deck, I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to go over to photo album in the images group. Now I don't have a photo album, so there's nothing to edit. I'm going to click on new photo album and it's going to give me this pop up where I can search for images on my computer. For this example, I'm going to click any image that has some kind of technology in it. I have a lot of landscape and um, but I just want to focus on these tech pictures. I'll go ahead and insert those. And as I click on the different pictures in the album, I can see a preview of the picture. So let's just insert the album as is with all the default without customizing anything and see what it creates. So it actually creates a new slideshow for me with all of the photos in the photo album. And these are unalterated photos. So if I wanted to alter them somehow, maybe change the layout of the slides, I'd go back up to insert and photo album. This time I can edit the photo album. So let's see some of the options. First thing I'll do is go to the picture layout. Right now it's fit to slide. I can choose, do I want one picture? Or do I want two or four pictures on a slide? Do I want a picture with a title or two pictures with a title, four pictures with a title? I'm going to go with two pictures for right now for the picture layout. For the frame shape, you can have the pictures be a rectangle, maybe a rounded rectangle, a simple frame, white, black, compound frame, soft edge rectangle. For right now, I'm going to go with a simple frame, two pictures. Let's update it and see how that changes things. So here's my photo album and I can see the simple rectangle on the pictures. If I wanted to change some of these around, perhaps I want this older typewriter picture to be on the first slide. So I'm just going to select it and I'll put that at the first. This is a little bit more modern. Maybe I want this one to also be on the first slide. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to move it up to the first slide. I have a couple that are desks and so I'll put those together and you can see you just highlight one of them and you can move it up down. You can remove the picture. I can also rotate the picture. I can do some very simple editing, but that's stuff that I can do after words. I don't really need to do that in this menu. Another interesting feature is I can make the pictures all black and white if I wanted to. So that could be an interesting effect. I can have captions below each picture as well. Let's go ahead and change these to rectangle pictures. I'm going to update that. And here you can see the examples of the rectangle pictures. When there's a text box on the last page, if I didn't want that text box to be there, I can remove that. And then lastly, suppose I wanted to add a transition. Maybe I'll have these pushed from the right. And so it looks like they're progressing. And if I preview this photo album, you can see all of the moderations that I made to the transitions and to the quality of the pictures and the arrangement. Now suppose I wanted to add more pictures. I can edit the photo album. I can go into the file content. Maybe I want to add some of these landscape pictures as well. Again, I can go in here and I can move these around. Let's play around with maybe four pictures. Let's see how that format looks. And maybe four pictures with soft rectangle edges. Let's update it, just see what that looks like. And I can go in after the slide deck has been created and I can go and edit these individually. I can change the artistic effects, the transparency, the color correction, I can put different frame borders and effects and apply it towards one or more of these pictures. At least the insert photo album feature gets me started. Another thing that's interesting that I've been ignoring this whole time is the slide design that pops up here. And you can stop suggesting ideas until you restart PowerPoint. If you do that, then you can access the slide design. I have it on my home ribbon. You can also have it on your design ribbon, design ideas, and it might give you some other things to work with, some fun layouts and format. So this is a very fun and easy way to explore photo albums within PowerPoint.